This video has been created by the Innovation Architect at the Houston Academy of Medicine Texas Medical Center Library, all rights reserved. Uh, in this video, I'll be demonstrating a new tool that we've built at the TMC Library. Uh, there was some discussion here about how we could uh, most effectively get announcements uh, and alerts out to our patrons. We serve a number of institutions, and uh, all of them have to log in through Easy Proxy. So the decision was made to use our Easy Proxy login page as an announcement platform. Uh, and as you can see over to the right, we have an announcement that's uh, currently up on the Easy Proxy uh, login page. Uh, in order to facilitate the placement of these announcements uh, by our resources librarians and our uh, reference librarians without their having to learn any coding or anything like that, this was built in such a way uh, as to allow them to make entries into a live guide and have that automatically populate into this page. Uh, and so I built a PHP utility, uh, tied that into some JavaScript uh, that is, is actually in this login page in order to do that. So let's take a look at that live guide. And so you can see that the content of the uh, announcement is sitting right here in this box. And if we edit this, just for purposes of illustration, I'm going to go ahead and temporarily cut contents of this box out. So we have an empty box. Save and close. And then we're going to go down here and push this button to automatically populate the changes in the page. And now if I reload the page, you can see that if there's nothing, no content in that announcements box, the announcements simply disappear from the page. So let's go back and put that announcement back. And once again, our announcement appears. Now, these announcements can be placed in a variety of configurations on the login page. And you see this box here. We have some screenshots showing what those configurations look like, uh, the top, the bottom, and as it is currently over the side. These correspond to configurations 1, 2, and 3. And you can see we have a box over here, Select a Configuration, which is currently populated with 3. So let's change this to configuration 2. And we'll activate the changes. And you can see that it just automatically moves it to the bottom position on the screen. Now, this is built very robustly. So if we even just make a mistake, I'll put an X in here, for instance, which clearly isn't one of the choices. doesn't break anything, it just defaults to configuration number one, which is the, the top configuration. So let's put that back on the side. Uh, pretty clearly that announcement was formatted for uh, the side configuration. And you can see once again we have it back on the side. And additionally, uh, this interface also allows us to change the background color of the DIV, and we do this very easily. Uh, we edit this box, select a new background color, and it's very simple. Uh, like the text says, change the color of this text. So if we change it, let's uh, change it to this uh, turquoise color. And we see now we have a nice turquoise background. If we wanted to change it back to the default color, which is this blue shown in the screenshots, we can do that very easily. We can just strip all the formatting off using this color or this button up here, populate that in, and we go back to our default color. And so let's go ahead and change this back to color that our resources folks had it set to, which I believe was this shade.
And you see it's very, very easy. You don't need to know any coding. You just need to know how to edit a live guide, which all of our, all of our librarians do. And you can quickly and easily add content to these alerts and change their appearance. Um, this is, again, built very robustly. Uh, the box here where you change the color of the DIV, you can add other formatting to that text, uh, bold it, change the background, whatever. None of those attributes are going to affect that DIV background color. Just the uh, text color is what's harvested. Uh, additionally, you can delete all that text, too. If you accidentally get rid of the text, it doesn't matter. You'll just go back to the default color. You don't break anything. Uh, and you can put whatever text you want in that box and change its color in order to get that uh, change to the DIV background again. Uh, so again, a uh, very robust solution. Uh, we may build this out further and add additional, uh, additional features to it, but uh, I think it's a very effective solution. If you have questions about how this works, uh, please contact me, Jason Bankson. I'm the Innovation Architect at the Texas Medical Center Library. Thank you.